Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing a fake minifigure series that I made of the Lego Kunjago movie. If you have not seen the Lego Kunjago movie, it's on my YouTube channel. Go watch it now. It came out early, so you should have watched it by now. So, yeah. Anywho, um, let's get to the minifigure series. So, yeah, this minifigure series has 20 minifigures. Well, it has 21 different stuff in packs you can get. There's a super rare pack, like one per case pack. Yeah, pretty cool. And then, yeah, um, I'm gonna go minifigure by minifigure. So, yeah. Now, let's go into the minifigures. So, here is No Handed Catwoman. This is a very nice, funny figure. Um, it's the same one from the Lego Batman movie, and that face is interchangeable, so... Yeah, I'll pull up another face. Uh, um, I'll get another scene and pull up the other face. And here's our chance to see the other face, as well as some really good back printing. And, uh... A really good thing about this figure is I didn't change the face print because didn't have any other Catwoman face prints, but, yeah, it's a pretty good minifigure. Come on, focus, camera. Focus. Focus. Alright, alright, that, that, there, it's focusing now. Alright, so, now on to the second minifigure. So here's Yoda, he was the coffee man in the Lego Jug movie, too. Um, I gave him a glass for his accessory. Um... I love his molded head. Yeah. I love his molded head. It's a great rubbery mold, and I love the textures up on his t at the top of his head. I also love this back printing of gray hair and on the torso, too. It's just great. Um, yeah, I think this is a pretty desirable minifigure, even though we've got a lot of him in sets. So, now onto the next minifigure. And my third choice was Cora, of course. Um, yeah, very nice printing on the pr front. Um, that side printing on the arm. Come on, focus the camera. There's a little tiny bit of side printing on that arm. You can kind of see it. Um, yeah, and this face is interchangeable, so let me show you the other face. And as you can see, on the back, there's another face print. And that hair mold is pretty cool. And, um... That identity disc printing is really good. And if we take that off, you can see there's more back printing. So, yeah. Pretty nice. Now on to the next figure. Uh-oh. Sorry, my camera fell. So here's Batman. And Batman is very nice. He has a very cool accessory. And uh, focus camera. So there is it, there it is. Um, yeah, it's very nice. Um, I like this cape and I like this hundred dollar bill. And I like these back printing. And this is the same one from like Adventures one um, game, so you can kind of change the face print to being a mad Batman, mad, or maybe you could just simplify it to being a madman. And his accessories are $100 bill. This next fi minifigure is my favorite because it's me. So, yeah. Um, if we remove this camera from my hand, you can see this, uh, this really good torso print. There. No, no. Yeah, you can see this really good torso print. Um, yeah, I love this camera build. It looks more like a professional new ca and, uh, camera now, and that... That is my favorite pants I'm wearing. And yeah, I wear a lot of uh, sweatshirts. I wear t-shirts. So yeah. This hair piece is, was perfect for me. And yeah. Um, so this is a great minifigure, I think. But you guys are probably not going to think he's the best minifigure on here. So on to the next minifigure. Here's the Cringago fangirl. She has... A newly printed torso. Um, that's very nice. Yeah, I used a sticker sheet on here, so yeah. Um, yeah, it's a nice reuse of the tow bar piece for 
a selfie stick. It's supposed to be a selfie stick so she can take a selfie with the Cringago team. Put the selfie. Okay, fine. You don't get the selfie stick now. Okay, um, I really do like this Mayfair though. It's a nice, um, five piece Mayfair. So, that's the next Mayfair. Here is, um, the droid that. Uh, here is, um, the robot destroyer. This is a male version. Uh, he. It was a pretty cool character in the Lego like, Kajago movie. Appears briefly. But, uh, yeah, he's nice. Um, I like his two guns. Very nice. And I like how I used a lot of good pieces in this um, person. And I like how I built the face for this. So, yeah, now on to the next main figure. His arm fell off, so now we're going on to the next main figure. Here is, um... The female version of a robot destroyer. I like that. Using that wheel axle to put in that second arm. Yeah, you can connect clips thing, cl things with clips to wheel axles. So that's very nice. Um, I like the two droid heads. That's very nice to get two of those in one droid. So, yeah. And it's nice to get two. And you still can make a droid out of this because you get legs, two arms. Well, two different types of arms, but still. And you get one, um, droid head. So, it's very nice to get. So, now onto the next, uh, minifigure. And this next one is actually a minifigure, so yeah. Um, on to the next one. And here is Robin. Um, this is not the same one from the Lego Batman movie. The face print is new. As well as the, um, the weapon piece is new. The, well, it's not new, but it's, like, new to the figure. But, uh, yeah, it's a very nice figure anyways. Um, this face is very interchangeable, and I'll show you some back printing when I interchange it. Focus camera. Focus! Okay, I'll, I'll let it focus after. So here's this very funny, um confused or like what I think the sound of what I think of this face is like what I don't think he's like scared of anything I just think he's like confused or whatever um that's a nice face print for him and here's some back very good back printing and yeah um on to the next main figure so here is Batgirl um this is the same one from Lego Batman movie no differences, but, um, her accessory is a yellow bat er, battering, and, uh, yeah, I like her utility belt, and I like her back printing, and this face is interchangeable, so let me just swing this, actually, let's just go on to the next main figure, we don't need to show you the other face print. My 11th pick is, um, Pie Man, uh, that head is not new, a new mold, um, it's just a regular pie piece, yeah, you can fit that on. I gave him a banana and a chicken wing for an accessory. And, uh, I like these dual-molded arms that he comes with. Uh, yeah, I like those dual- Are you kidding me? Why are you so mean to me? Okay. Banana just fit in his hand. Alright. Anywho, um, let me just talk about something. Well, I clipped this banana back into his hand. Um, anyways, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice figure. Um, it's very fun and funny, and yeah. So on to the next main figure. Well, the next main figure is really a buildable figure. Who cares? Um, this figure is very nice. Um, I like his head mold. Uh, I, it's not a mold, but I like his head build. Um, it's very cute, and it has a nice side profile, kind of. So yeah, um, on to the next main figure. Here we have the Red Brick King. Um, he has two gold studs for his accessory, because who doesn't, uh, what king doesn't love gold? Focus camera. I now have given you the power to focus. Okay. Um, this, uh, it's nice reuse of this red brick body. And, uh, now on to the next main figure, I guess. So here's the Kunjago fanboy. I like his hair and his fan fiction. It's very nice for an accessory. 
even though it's blank. Anywho, um, yeah, this th that's a nice torso print. And, uh, yeah, the thing I'll show you to say about these mi this minifigure, I like these dual-molded arms. And, yeah, on to the next figure now. So, here's the next minifigure. It's Dinosaur Ninja Guy. Um, nice. I really like this side profile. It's, it's even better on this side. Yeah, because it has the lightsaber. Um, yeah, I love the concept of this. Just having a ninja body with a big uh, light sa uh, Kylo Ren lightsaber and a big dinosaur face. This would be even a good minifigure without the... Without the, uh, Kylo Ren lightsaber, but I thought, why not make it more scarier? So, yeah. On to the next minifigure. So, here is Dogman, and I don't really like the side profile, this front profile, but if you look at this from the side, it looks incredible. Um, yeah, it really looks like a white dog. Um, this cave piece is a new mold, and a lot of people are gonna be asking me, how did you make a new mold? But, uh... It's, it's just, uh, it's not a new mold made out of plastic. Well, it is, but, like, it was, it came off of a coat hanger. There's some little hooks on coat hangers. I just used, um, my brother unaccidentally broke it, so I just used that piece for a cane. It's a very nice figure. Um, I like that 2 by 2 down with the whole use of the for the collar, and yeah, it's a very nice figure. It's probably really, it's probably one of the most desirable figures in this series. So here is the computer queen. I really like this head build. Um, I like the Dogman one too, but this one is a lot cool. It's just really good. Let me just move over with her, because it's easier to do this in the dark. And this torso and dress piece is not new, and I love it. Because it's just perfect for a queen. And yeah, now on to the next main figure. Hey guys, so this next main figure is um, VA Baracus. I think I have some pretty good mixed feelings about this. It's good to get another main figure of this, but it's not good. But it's not. Well, it's good to get some of the accessories and another main figure of this, but we already got it in a small set. But this is a ch it would be a cheaper way to get it if it was real. So yeah, it's a nice minifigure. Um, I like the back printing on him, and there's no second face print because that would wouldn't be covered up by this uh, very small hair piece. So on to the next figure. So here we have um, Dandy, and this is a nice minifigure. Um, I gave him a wrench for his accessory, and this is a 21 piece minifigure. So wow. But, uh, yeah, and it's very nice. Um, it's cool and cool, so yeah. Um, I'm sure this would be the most desirable figure in the series, so. On to the next May figure. So here's the last mini figure of the series. We still have, um, one more, like, a cup a pack that could come with a couple more pets. Um, so here is, uh, uh, Vixie. Vixie has a nice face print, and that hair piece is very cool. I also love that torso print, and it's a nice way to get a gold arm, a medium azure arm, gold hand, and a medium azure hand. Um, yeah, nice wings on the back, and, uh, nice back printing. So now on to the next minifigure. Now on to the next character. So here is all the other characters. Um, now it was off trouble focusing on those eyes. Anyways, um, here we have Kitty, Puppy, Doggy, um, Fluffy, and Reddy. Um, I really like the all these figures. Um, this is only one per case, so pretty rare, but, um, I really like this, these figures, so, um, on to the conclusion of the video. So that's it for the minifigures. Um, yeah, uh, tell me, comment down below what one was your favorite. And yeah, it's a very nice mini f a f series. So yeah, um, I'll, um, goodbye until the next video. So comment down below, likes, subscribe, and hit the
hit the bell to get your notifications and, and whenever I make a video. And um, goodbye, fellow uh, fellow watchers. And until we, I make another video, of course. So goodbye.